we've actually created a do-it-yourself kit that will let you turn urine into fertilizer that you can use on your house plants at home. So does this mean I'm gonna get to pee in a cup? Absolutely. Yeah. All right, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Here, you pee in this. Okay. It's a goldfish bowl, not a pee cup, but that's to remind you why we're doing all of this. Okay, because we hate fish. Oh wait, no, because we like fish. <laughs> right. Okay, good luck. Thanks. How'd you do? Oh, oh nice. nice. No, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> the first thing that you're going to do is break down the urea okay. in your urine into ammonia okay. by adding some urease. We need that to happen because the nitrogen that's in your urine needs to be free to bond in the chemical reaction. Okay. Just chip, chip all this in. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. And normally, you would leave that to sit for about an hour and a half. Okay. That looks about right. Uh, what do I do with that? Mm -hmm. All right, we'll just take this over here. Okay. <laughs> an hour and a half later, mm -hmm. we would have this. This is hydrolyzed urine. It's mostly ammonia, and if you actually smell this. Yep, that's what it smells like. Next, we're adding magnesium chloride, which is very good at bonding with different elements, especially nitrogen and phosphorus. OK, so this is what's going to cause all of that stuff to bind and then precipitate out. Exactly. OK. Ooh. Yeah, it's very if you, reactive. If you feel it, you'll feel that it's actually getting hot, too. Mmm, hot pee. What's happening right now is that the liquid is separating from the magnesium chloride, which is bonding with the nitrogen and phosphorus. And this is what it looks like after you let it sit. You get this kind of layer of white stuff. Okay. Our next step is that we're going to filter this out. Okay. So this is just filter paper? This is actually a lab-grade filter. Okay. That filters almost at the molecular level. Wow. And so what you're left with when you filtered it is you're left with this liquid as well as, on the filter paper, all of this fertilizer. So if you put it in, to some water, dilute it, and then water your plants. Okay, but this benign liquid, what's in this? Because now? because what's left in this is a lot of, you know, it's a it's more nutrients, but they're not the kind that create harmful algae blooms. Now when it goes back into up to the ecosystem, it goes through the natural process, ends up in the reservoir, and ends up at your tap, which is great. And you can still and you can drink it. Okay. Cheers. Cheers.